Hello students, I am Dr. Tanumai Vishash, I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules. Today's topic of discussion is on MCQ about hydrazine. Actually it is a multiple step reaction and you can see the reaction in front of you. So you have to say what is the major product ultimately. So here four options are provided and one of them is the right answer. I request you student please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get please write in the comment box along with few words as explanation. And don't hesitate whether your answer will be right or wrong because self-evaluation is essential for improvement and that's why you should try. I believe you have tried by yourself so my turn to give you the right answer. Now as usual I suggest you student in every case look at the reactant first. Here the reactant molecule is pretty simple. It's kind of acid chloride or more spe specifically if I say carbonyl means this carbonic acid chloride. So one side is this star ethyl ester and the other side is acid chloride. It's true that it is not that much reactive acid chloride like acetyl chloride but still it's pretty reactive. Now second as usual I suggest you student first look at the first condition hydroxyl amine hydrochloride sodium hydroxide. So this hydroxyl amine is provided as hydrochloride salt. So here one equivalent of hydrochloride is added along with hydroxyl amine. So sodium hydroxide given so these HCl and sodium hydroxide will react together and produce sodium chloride and water means it is a simple neutralization reaction to generate free hydroxyl amine and we know this hydroxyl amine is pretty strong nucleophile because of alpha effect. What do I mean by the statement? This is the, stu this is the structure of hydroxyl amine student. So here there are lone pair on nitrogen, one lone pair on nitrogen and two lone pairs on oxygen and there is a significant oxygen, nitrogen oxygen means lone pair, lone pair repulsion. So this is called student alpha effect and this alpha effect makes this hydroxyl amine significantly good nucleophile, nucleophile. Not only that, if you look at nitrogen carries lone pair, oxygen carries but here nitrogen is more nucleophilic because its electronegativity is lesser. So that is why the nucleophilic attack will be initiated from the nitrogen side. So now let us go to the mechanism. So in the first step as I told neutralization reaction, so after this neutralization the lone pair of these will attack. It is nothing but acyl nucleophilic substitution, I have already discussed dedicated lecture on it. So Cl will leave and ultimately it is actually basic medium. So after this nucleophilic attack by hydroxyl amine it will have a positive charge which will be neutralized by this anyway. So ultimately it will produce an amide derivative by hydroxyl amine. So this part you can consider student amide. Fine. So next step is actually reaction of dimethyl sulfate. This dimethyl sulfate is actually electrophilic reagent I shall explain later on and actually it can transfer two equivalent of methyl group means two equivalent of methyl electrophile. So here if you look at that okay dimethyl sulfide is given dimethyl sulfate is given that is true along with in sodium hydroxide why. So if you look at I told that this nitrogen is more nucleophilic compared to oxygen. By the way you can think that sir this nitrogen lone pair is in conjugation with this carbonyl it is true but this conjugation is not that much prominent because here one cross conjugation is also there. So it is not. So that is why the nucleophilicity will be obtained from this nitrogen site. Okay. So that is why it will react with this dimethyl sulphate. I am drawing the structure here student. So this is O CH3. Okay. So here what will happen? So one lone pair will attack here and it will leave because sulphate residence stabilized fine. So in this way what it will produce? First unit methylation. Not only that reaction will stop here. Now you can see that all the protons on this nitrogen is consumed. So reaction will not happen here but but there is one proton on the oxygen attached. So this will also react because as I told at the beginning because of this lone pair lone pair repulsion these molecule became more nucleophilic. So in the second step these oxygen will act as nucleophile. It is true that nitrogen is more nucleophilic than oxygen but when the nitrogen proton 
is consumed or exhausted then the reaction will happen from the oxygen side and since there are two electrophilic methyl groups so it can attack here and it can leave so in this way second methylation is also possible because you can say that sir in the question you have mentioned only one equivalent of dimethyl sulfate but how in two step dimethyl sulfate is used I am not mentioning that I am saying that one molecular dimethyl sulfate is capable to transfer two methyl group and you can see the two proton I mean this proton one and this proton two both are subs consecutively substituted by methyl group in basic medium where dimethyl sulfate is acting as a electrophile. So now we got our product means two methyl substituted this amide actually it has a name when when amide fine upon hydrolysis of these amide with hcl look at hydrolysis of these amide with hcl so what bond breaks so these amide bond breaks okay in presence of heating means relatively dusty conditions since amides are pretty stable molecule so it produces this hydrochloride salt okay and if you do alkaline workup then it will produce ultimately these hydroxyl amine derivative and here you can say that the one this nitrogen you can say that this nitrogen has one methyl group attached and oxygen is one methyl group attached so it's a significantly interesting molecule and here you can say that sir one nitrogen is obtained again so can it react yes and these things student I shall discuss in a dedicated lecture name as Wenreb amide. Now uh, what are the key step? First step is the Wenreb amide preparation. So this is hydroxylamine derivative. Actually this Wenreb amide has some significant importance. I shall tell this at the end. Second step is SN2 type reaction using dimethyl sulfate alkaline. Third step is amide hydrolysis in presence of acid and heat and the last step is associated with hydrazine isolation is basic medium why because hydrazine is actually a basic molecule nitrogen lone pair so if you produce it in acidic medium also it will not remain as hydrazine it will remain as its hydrochloride salt means acid salt so in order to get the free hydrazine dilute alkali is essential or basic medium is essential now in in this case will learn that means electrophilicity of this reagent this dimethyl sulfate so you can see that this oxygen is delta negative this is delta positive similar is true for here also okay so if you have any nucleophile this nucleophile can react with this dimethyl sulfate and ultimately it will produce sulfate ion so this is so4 2 minus significantly stable because of resonance resonance means there are two sulfur double bond oxygen so they can stabilize this negative charge through resonance or delocalization let me give you one example at least so it comes and it opens so in this way resonance works and in this case remember student all are equivalent canonical forms so extremely stabilized extremely delocalized so in this context these after this reaction this methyl nucleophile bond is produced i mean it attacks here and it leaves so this is the uh, so in this case it acts as electrophile now a simple question you may think that sir generally when you do such reaction we think about methyl iodide so what is the difference be between methyl iodide versus this dimethyl sulfate? See student methyl iodide is volatile in nature okay but this dimethyl sulfate is not. So from that point of view this is a better or relatively greener easy to handle reagent. Now let us go to the answer of our today's question. So what is the product? Product is option C. Now if this question is provided in your exam less than 30 seconds how can you get the right answer student this problem is pretty easy i believe pretty easy if you understand so hydroxylamine hydrochloride sodium hydroxide so this hydroxylamine a star derivative it will produce point number one fine now second step is dimethyl sulfate sodium hydroxide so alkylation now here student only alkylation possible nitrogen and oxygen this thing but nitrogen have better nucleophilicity compared to oxygen so if I say this word then option A gone because here methylation happen on oxygen but an NH is there. Okay one point. Second thing if you look at that reaction is happening on amide so this dialkylation not possible. 
नाउ क्वेश्चन ये देयर मे बी अ कॉम्पिटिशन इज बी वर्सेस सी नाउ इफ यू लुक एट द थर्ड स्टेप एच सी एल हीट देन डायल्यूट सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड इट इज एन एम आई हाइड्रोलिस सो बी कांट एग्जिस्ट इन दैट कंडीशन सो ओनली ऑप्शन लेफ्ट दैट इज सी ओके सो आई नो एक्चुअली वी आई एम सेइंग दिस इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट और एनी कंफ्यूजन इफ यू डोंट नो दिस यूजिंग दिस स्ट्रेटजी यू कैन कम अप टू द राइट आंसर लेस देन थर्टी सेकेंड बट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल नॉलेज एंड सेकेंड प्रैक्टिस इसेंशियल फॉर दैट नाउ in conclusion how much we have learned today that acid chlorides are activated substrate for acyl nucleophilic substitution and in this case the lone pair lone pair repulsion means adjacent lone pair lone pair repulsion of hydroxylamine or hydro uh, hydrazine etc makes it's a better nucleophile than simple primary amine and this phenomenon is called alpha effect and due to this alpha effect the lone pair of both nitrogen and oxygen can act as nucleophile here for example the in the case of hydroxyl amine now hydrolysis of amide require little more drastic condition as the amides are relatively stable due to resonance means the nitrogen delocalizes its lone pair with C double bond do means resonance and that's why the carbon nitrogen bond has partial double bond character. What do I mean? So this is student. This is for example this molecule. So this molecule delocalizes. This lone pair is delocalized and ultimately it produce. So this this is the O minus fine along with that this. this is the n plus now you can see here this partial double bond character of carbon nitrogen so that makes these double this carbon nitrogen bond breaking little difficult okay that's why this hydrolysis is little difficult and it requires relatively tough condition or drastic condition now at the last point is the no dimethyl hydroxyl amine actually this reagent is used to convert carboxylic acid directly to aldehyde or ketone selectively and this amide is actually called that wenrev amide and if you want to get ketone then you need to use the either grignard reagent or alkyl lithium or if you want to need prepare aldehyde means you need a hydride resource i mean lithium aluminum hydride could be used at this context so this is a very selective very useful reaction I'll, i shall definitely make a dedicated lecture after some time so this is the end of discussion i believe this video will be useful i thank you everyone for watching this video and if you really consider the content of my channel is worthy then please help this channel to grow so stay happy stay blessed see you in my next video bye bye